What's going on? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. My name is Tommy Clark, and in today's edition of Two Minute Tuesday, we're going to be answering the question How many calories should basketball players be eating? And this is a really common question. If you're in and around nutrition, you're trying to dial it in, you're probably wondering how much you should actually be eating throughout the day. So that's exactly what we'll cover by the end of this video. And as always, if you enjoy the video, if you find value out of it, if it helps you out, definitely be sure to drop a like down below. And if you're new around here, subscribe for new videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Now, as far as the answer to that question, it's always gonna depend. It's gonna depend on the individual. It's gonna depend on the training demands of the individual. It's going to depend on the time of the year that you're in. Are you in the in-season phase? Are you in the off-season, post-season, pre-season? What's going on? There are so many different factors that go into it. What are your goals? Are you trying to maximize performance, maximize fat loss, muscle gain? Like, what is the priority there? Long story short, it really depends on the individual. It really depends on the individual. But to leave you with an answer, if you're a basketball player, I'm gonna assume that you wanna maximize your performance. That's the most common goal I see, and it makes sense, because you're an athlete. You wanna maximize your performance on the basketball court and really maximize your athletic potential. And to do that specific goal, you're going to want to eat at least at maintenance calories. What you don't wanna do is be eating in what's called a calorie deficit when you're eating less calories than you're burning. Because when you do that, you're not giving your body enough energy, enough fuel to actually perform in your training sessions, on the court during games, and you're not giving it enough fuel to recover and stay healthy long term. So if your goal is athletic performance, which again, being a basketball player, it is, you're gonna wanna be eating at least at caloric maintenance. And to do this, there's a number of different equations that you can use. The one I use with my clients is called the Harris-Benedict equation. I'll link a calculator down below so you can kinda of see what that number's at. Um, but even then, there's a lot more individualization that goes into it, but just understand that you at least need to be eating at caloric maintenance to maximize your athletic performance. And if you wanna build muscle, you gotta be eating more calories than you burn. And if you do wanna lose body fat, you do have to be eating less calories than you burn. But assuming you're a hooper, you're probably trying to maximize your performance, and to do that, you'll want to eat at caloric maintenance. So let me know if you have any questions about that. I'll make a video in the future going over a little more in-depth, like individualized to you, how you would figure out what that number is for you. But right now, I just want you to understand that concept. If you have any questions about it, just drop a comment down below. Let me know if you have any questions via Instagram DM, however you want to get a hold of me. I'm here to help out, and hopefully you enjoy the video. As always, drop a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video on Thursday.